boy D Money, man. Got some noise in the background, some people cutting up some, some trees. So hopefully y'all can hit me pretty good, but uh, back in the garage again. I'm not actually in the garage, I'm outside the garage. Y'all can see the hawk right there. But um, got me a wing finally. I know I've been saying on a lot of my old videos, but I finally ordered it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna install this wing onto the uh, Hawk 300. We're gonna install it today. So stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe, share the video, answer me, ask me any questions you want below. And I know I said wing, but proper name to say is spoiler. I don't want none of y'all out there black. Like, oh, he said it's a wing, it's not a wing. Spoiler. We're gonna be installing the spoiler today. Spoiler. All right, guys. Of course, this is my trunk. The full stages of the hawk turning from the professor to the hawk. But anyway, to uh, so that we can put that spoiler on, you gotta pop all your pins out. It's gonna be pins on my eyes. I'm not in because I didn't want to block. Uh, my paint and my artwork, but all the pans like these, you gotta take out all the way around. And then you gotta take those out, those hex screws. You gotta take those out. And uh, that'll be it. And then this will come off. And then, and then I'll be able to show y'all the next step. And when you get to this part, right? It's gonna be up there. It's gonna be up there like this. And you're gonna have your emergency pull lock in there. You just pull that out, you just untuck it basically. All the way around, you just pull it, untuck it, pull that out the hole, pull it all the way off. That's it. And then that's how it look with nothing, no carpet up there. So, now I gotta figure how I'm gonna drill this hole. For the spoiler. Uh, I gotta figure that out. All right, y'all. So what I did was I laid the spoiler across the trunk. I lined it up with this piece of tape here, kind of sort of <laughs> in the middle. I took a guesstimate, so I guess where the middle would be. But uh, once I put it on there, the spoiler hangs off the lip a little bit. So I took a piece of blue tape, put it on the bottom of the spoiler. Let me show y'all. Hangs off the lip a little bit, you can see that lip. I put the tape from here down and just poked a hole through it. So I know that this lip here is hanging off, so I ain't worried about that, I need it from here down. That way I know the edge of the truck is here. So, I was able to line up the hole with that tape. This the edge of the trunk. Uh, so the hole will be there. And that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I got it on there. Don't mind. That's, I just had that sitting on there. So I can know where the tape is so I won't lose it. But anyway, I got it on there with the middle screw in. That's the only screw I'm gonna screw. But as you see, I got a gap on this side no gap on that side so I'm gonna slide it over some and uh yeah as you can see I'm only, I'm only I'm only gonna do that one screw I ain't gonna use all three but I'm gonna use a double-sided tape along the whole thing as well to hold it down and that was my hole there I did do a hole there messed up on but I was able to use this piece of tape and uh I did draw it, as y'all can see, right there. So that one was right, but I needed to bring it down here on this side to the left of it. So I moved it over a bit, which was my fault, but I see that my drawing was correct. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna just widen the hole a little bit. That way uh, I can slide it over some. But yeah, I'm gonna give y'all the rough right and the raw. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna take the screw out and show y'all the two holes. The first hole that I messed up on. All right, here y'all go. You can see, this was the first one I drilled, which I knew. Uh, 
I knew what right once I got done. When I laid that on top of the truck, I said, oh, that ain't right. So I'm gonna have to fill that hole in. But this one here is, is good. I'm gonna just widen it this way so a little bit. Just take the drill, the drill bit in there and just hit it this way until it move over a little bit. But I ain't worried about no water or nothing getting in there. When it rains, the uh, spoiler gonna be on top of the, all that right there. I'ma still fill that hole though. I might, might not, let's see. Like I said, I'm only doing one screw. It comes with, uh, it comes with three, the middle one. That's all the one I'm using. And they got one on the left and one on the right. But I'm only gonna use that middle screw. I don't want to drill multiple holes in my trunk, especially if I can't line it up like I'm trying to do now, you know. Luckily, my second try was on point. But uh, like I said, I'm just move it over a little bit to, to the left, to the driver's side. I'm going to move that hole over a little to the driver's side, and we should be good. All right, so made the hole a little more to the left, like I said. See that small little gap there? Bam! That thing lined up just right. Small little gap there. One more time. Bam! Same thing. So it was on there. Like I said, it ain't, it ain't moving nowhere. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I gotta put this tape on there. It came with it, a double-sided tape. Not using the rest of these screws. I'm gonna put the cap on it though. Oh, on that one there. It came with little caps. But I'm gonna use this double sided tape all the way around on it. And that's a wrap. Yes, sir. All right, look, what I just realized after opening the package and taking this out, they had these in it, right? But I know where I'm going with this. They had these in the package also. And the three of them. Man, the whole time these is what you use to line up the hole. <laughs> I just figured it out after I'm done. And I'm about to put the double side of the tape on it. I'm just figuring it out. That I could have just put this on here. On the bottom of the spoiler. And put it on the trunk and made my marks. With that. The whole time. I think that's what it's for. I'm gonna say that. I think that's what it's for, but it got it's gotta be. That's crazy. Because it got these little pieces here to go in the hole. I'm sure that that's what it's for. It, 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 ain't, it ain't gonna go like that. It's for you to line up the holes. So you can make your marks. I think that's some you know what. That's what happened when you don't read instructions, but I don't even know what the instructions are. Nothing was in the bag. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. I got my whole line up. I'm about to put my double-sided tape on there. But I'm just letting y'all know. I'm told y'all I'm keeping it rough, rugged and raw. Y'all gonna see it all. Good, bad, and ugly. It's how the trunk look after the fact. A lot of y'all might not want to go through this. That was the first wrong one. This one was the right one. But as you see, I moved it over. The ball's gonna be on top of there. Uh, double sided tape, no water is going to be getting under. And if it do, I'll, uh, I'll update y'all and let y'all know. You know, water seep through. You might want to get a professional to do I'll let y'all know what happened if, if anything happens. So that means this will be getting wet if water seep through. So I'll keep y'all updated. Y'all know how I do. But let me go ahead and uh, double sided tape this thing so we can get it on. And I need to take. Park 300, go get a bath. Cause uh, it ain't clean. It's dusty and water spots all over. All right, y'all can see. I made my side pieces separate. The top piece, the bottom piece. Side piece separate. All the way around. And they give you just enough to go all the way around the spoiler. You see I got a little piece left. Just one little piece. 
But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty much done. Go ahead and put it on there. I already wiped the trunk down. Cause like I said, it needed a wash. So I just took some water and wiped it down. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and install this spoiler so we can see what it look like with the spoiler on there. Wicker build coming soon. You already know with some color to it. I should already know what color since I'm rocking with the Hawk. I ain't gonna tell y'all, but leave a comment below if you already know what colors I'm going with. Or if you got any ideas I should do to the spoiler and wicker build for the Hawk 300 build. All right, we all done. Got my screw back in. I still got that tape up there. I'm gonna leave it there too. I ain't gonna take it off. I ain't, I ain't bother nothing. But uh, yeah, got my screw down tight. I use my drill and the, and the screwdriver handheld. As you can see, it's on there now. All the way on there. Uh -huh. Make sure we lined up right. Yes, sir. Got the double-sided tape all the way around on it. So now we just put the copy piece back on the same way we took it off. And that's it. That's a wrap. It's on there. It's on there. Yep. Looks like it's been on there. said I only use the middle screw and the reason is because of that like I said earlier there's no need to drill on three holes drilling through your trunk trying to uh, get it lined up putting all the holes in your trunk when you could just drill the center which you will know you won't lose your spoiler and double center take the rest of it it ain't gonna go nowhere because you got the center screw in there it's not coming out that's it, that's all. No need for all three. Unless you just want to be secure with all three, that's on you. But one screw in the middle is good enough. Double-sided tape, that's, that's good enough. Think about it. This is all double-sided tape, this whole thing. Been through the car wash, never came off. This right here, badge, double-sided tape. Been through the drive-through car wash, never came off. So, those of you that don't trust the double-sided tape, I mean, that's on you. Go ahead and use all three screws, nothing wrong with it, but for me, I'm using one screw, just so that I know it's not gonna come off. Cause I've seen people just use double-sided tape, no screws, cause they don't wanna drill through their trunk at all. And it's worked for them, and I know one particular person that had a 300 that lost his way, so. Sounding good. Uh, I'm loving the wing. I'm loving. I still call it a wing. I'm loving the spoiler. New addition to my 300. Pump 300. They barely hitting the gas and that thing roaring. Sound good. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this truck back together. Put the uh, copy back in there so we can be complete with installing spoiler. Yes, sir. Got that spoiler on there. Did that thing myself. Yes, sir. I only use one screw. That's a screw in the middle, but I use a double-sided tape all the way around. The wicker bill coming next. Best believe it. Y'all look good too. Look good on there. 
All right, we all done. Got all the pins back in. All the way around, got this back in. This is actually your handle to close the trunk. Most of you didn't know that. That's actually, it's just a handle. You can't really see, it's like a little glare, but yeah, it's just a handle. That's the handle to close the trunk. Kept wondering what that is. I know most of y'all gonna ask me what size uh, torque screw was it? It's a T15. I don't know if it's gonna come up on the camera. Let me see. Just try to wipe it off. Uh, you can't really see it. But it's a T15, it's a T15 torque, so. T15. Uh, yeah, man. But we all, we all done. Y'all here cutting up trees. Some trees fell down. On my neighbor's tow truck. But uh, let me make sure my keys in my pocket before I close this truck. Even though my uh, windows are down like a pumpkin truck. It is. Alright. Oh. That's how we looking now. Alright, gang. Back. Took a little store to the run. <laughs> a little store to the run. <laughs> a little ride to the store. Spoiler is okay. Can y'all see it? Yeah, I can see it back there. It is okay. Look good too. I like it. I like it. That's how I match it up to know whether the, the screws want to go through the hole. I use the drill bit and put it to the tip of the screw. And if it's the same size or slightly bigger, then it's cool. Then, you know, the screw going to go through the hole once it drill the hole. It's just lining the hole up to find the, uh, to find the right. Somebody in the area it could be somebody in my 
building, which I don't never see no ain't nobody in my building that has the flow so it's like some kind of barely many young people that live in my building. But uh, anyway, they be on sometimes for no reason. I know I ain't turned them on. So it'll bring it'll, it'll drain my battery only in the winter. Cause as y'all as y'all see at the car shows that I go to, as we, we call them stunt Sundays in uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia early, area. I leave my lights on all day of the car show from 1, let's say 1 p.m. till it starts till it get dark. So, they never drink. I get back in the car, all of us leave and hit the star, roll star, and we start right up. I'm all about my business. But in the winter, it definitely drains that battery. So, what I do in the winter now, I take the fuse out. And I, I don't even turn them on in, in the winter. Like, that's off season. I mean, that's why I really haven't been uploading much. I ain't haven't really been doing much. I've just been been working, working, working. Like I had these upgrades coming in. We have a lot of upgrades coming in the mail. So that there will be more videos for y'all. More videos. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I take that fuse out of the winter because I don't have time to keep trying to jump. Jump the call, going out to go to work, and then the battery dead is too much to do. Plus, I'm in the process of getting my work car back on the road, so I don't really want to drive as much. Because after my little 30 day tags went dead, I never took it through inspection. It'll pass. I just never took it because my battery, the battery that I had in it, was a loaner battery from my neighbor. Uh, that's who I got the car from a couple months back. And uh, he, he wanted his battery back eventually. <laughs> but the battery that was in it was already dead. And he gave me the battery that, that was in it, that was working. And I was driving it to work and everything on the 30-day tag. Just never took it to us. I should have. But I also ran across an um, antifreeze leak or whatever. So maybe, you know what? I'm going to leave this conversation for another video. Leave that conversation for another video on, on the, the work cut. Till next time.